All right. So in this video, I will show you how to configure a virtual machine and I will be using Ubuntu virtual machine, which I would be using for configuring my open 5Gs and UV Ransom in the single virtual machine. Now this is a kickoffs way and I will show you how you can configure it. So let's get started. Uh, we'll just create a new virtual machine. So let me just go to tools and welcome, create a new and this is a advanced or expert mode. There is another mode, mode called guided mode. I'm using the expert mode. So I would recommend you use expert mode just for following along. And I will just term it as 5G in a box. Wherever you want to save your virtual machine, you can choose the machine folder. Uh, for me, it's the inside home Mohit virtual box here. I will select Linux and I will select Ubuntu 64 bit because this is the ISO image that I've downloaded. I'll increase the memory to 4096 because I'm creating a video. For you, I think you should be okay with uh, 2 GB of RAM. I will create a virtual hard disk now. And click on create. This is the hard disk uh, name. I mean, this is the virtual hard disk where all, all the content of the hard disk would be saved. It is VDI and the size is dynamically allocated. I will click on create and that's it. My virtual machine is created. However, we haven't installed the operating system. So I will click on start. And as soon as you click on start, it will ask for your startup disk. So I will select the startup disk that is Ubuntu 22.04. So if you haven't added, you can click on add in the optical disk selector and add your ISO image. So I've downloaded Ubuntu 22.04 desktop md64.iso. You can Google it and get this ISO image. It is around 4 GB. So it will take time for you to download. Click on start. The virtual machine window will pop up. Click on try or install Ubuntu. So it will take time. I would be pausing the video in between and skipping the irrelevant part so that you can follow along. All right, I will click on install Ubuntu. You can use English US, click on continue. It's a minimal installation. Don't need to use, uh, you know, use any updates or I don't need to install any third party software. Uh, I will click on erase disk and install Ubuntu. Click on install now, continue. It will ask me to select the time zone. Depending upon your time zone, you can select uh, wherever you are located. I'm in Melbourne, so I'll just click on Melbourne and click on continue. Now, you need to provide the details. It's the name and the computer time is select a password. I'm selecting a very uh, short password. So it will copy file and then install the system. It will take some time. Uh, I will just pause the video and then once it is installed, I will show you the next steps. All right, my operating system is almost installed, but the problem with this installation is that uh, I will not be able to make it full screen. Uh, for this, I need to install the guest edition CD image. And uh, once my operating system is installed, I will show you how to do that. All right, my installation is complete. I will just restart it now. And I can check if the installation media is there or not. If not, you can just press restart. We click on devices, insert guest edition CD image. All right, so I'll just click on my username. Oh, skip this. Don't need anything. Don't need to send anything. Click on next. That's it done open the virtual box guest station disk image and open in terminal if i do lsf and alert we just need to run this vbox linux editions so we'll just do sudo vbox press tab oh, should be dot slash vbox linux edition dot run you put your password and it should install it if there's any error related to any package, you need to install them as well. For example, here it says, please install the GCC make Perl packages. So I'll just type sudo apt install gcc make and Perl. And that's it. It will take some time for it to download. It took some time, but it is installed. Then we can continue installing our VirtualBox Linux edition. We'll install those modules and after the installation, we need to restart our system so that the changes can take effect. 
all right this is done i will just click it close from here power off my system and then i will start it again so my virtual machine should be installed now and if i maximize it it should be working one more thing you should uh, enable shade clipboard and bidirectional drag and drop so it should be okay now let me check if i go to in display all right this is working all right so our virtual machine is ready to use uh, go ahead and install your virtual machine and i will see you in the next video